In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you go about getting clay. So say I'm sitting here at my seat. It's time to get clay. I'm going to get up. I'm going to walk to the back of the room. And on the back table, you'll usually see a bag of clay sitting back here. Or we have the pug mill. Now, usually we'll have bag clay, but sometimes we'll use pug clay. And pug clay is basically recycled clay that's been used, and it's usually blended between more than one type of clay, as you can see here in this hatch. Now, the buttons for this on top, there's a stop button, the middle button is for mixing, and the bottom button is for pugging. However, technically this machine is not supposed to be used by students. Um, I will occasionally let you put clay back in it, but most of the time I'm going to ask that I be back here and I'm the one running it, but you are still allowed to cut your own clay off. <clears throat> so, when we get pug clay, um, we got to make sure we uncover the end. Now this is the, the nozzle. Basically, clay is going to be pushed out of this hole like this, like a big old tube of toothpaste. And I'll hit the on button, and as soon as we have enough clay, I can hit the stop button. And then you can come over and either twist it off with your hands, or if you like cleaner, more precise ways of doing things, you can put your wire tool under it and cut straight up. Just like that. And you get a nice clean cut. Now, once you have your clay, you can put it on the table, but don't forget... If you're the last person to get some clay out, which I'll usually let you know if you are, but it's important that we cover this, because if we don't, then the clay at the end starts drying out, and it'll slowly dry its way up through the pug mill, creating a lot of problems with it being able to come out. So the second way to get clay is a lot of times I'll tell you, go ahead and get clay out of the bag. So here's a clay bag. Do not rip the top of the bag open, because it's not the top, it's the bottom. You'll see that the top is usually twisted shut and it's easily openable, so just go ahead and untwist it. Then roll down the sides of the bag to expose the block of clay. And now you're going to grab your wire tool again. And you're going to put the wire around the back side of the clay block like so. You're going to bring your hands together. You can hold it with both hands or one hand. I prefer to hold it with both and hold on the clay block. And make sure that you don't cross your wires. If you cross them, you end up twisting your wire and it'll break eventually. And then you just pull straight through, get a nice clean cut, and then you have a block of clay. Now this is a fairly large block of clay. If this was a smaller project, you could probably share this with one other person. And this is also a very large block of clay, but for demonstration purposes, I think these both work. And that's how you get clay.